opinion, just observation, uh, that I think everyone up here right now started in development, uh, sort of a computer science background maybe was uh, too difficult, so they, too, uh, is, yeah, too, too hard. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to answer a specific question, which may not be the question you're asking, which is uh, the issue of uh, sort of technical skill versus uh, uh, design skill, I think, is, um, and I imagine uh, Dan says the same thing, that it's, it's very, very hard to find people who are sort of uh, adept at both and uh, I mean, John John Mida's, uh, uh opinion from the very beginning was that uh, you know there used to be artists who, when they had some idea that they needed, well, you know, they couldn't do, they would hire the engineer, and uh, and that person would sort of fulfill their vision. And his idea was that these two people could be the same person, which was somewhat revolutionary, I think, about like eight years ago, but is now sort of uh, uh, status quo in terms of um, what what is expected. Uh, as far as that relates to education, it, in the classes that I've taught, I find it very difficult to teach both of those things simultaneously. That uh, there's only sort of so much focus that a person can exert at any given moment, and you can only critique them in so many ways um, before they sort of crumble. Uh, <laughs> and so. I, I, it's hard to do both at the same time, but I think you need to do, you know, sort of have both the design training and the uh, technical training, um, and, and somehow organically on your own begin to, to marry those those two things. So the really weird thing is this weekend, last weekend, I. I actually did the keynote at the messaging media conference here that the AIGA put on, which was exactly that. The whole conference of design educators asking and finding out what they can do to teach people design for, you know, this new media. And I, I actually just shared my slides, so if you email me, I can send you the presentation. But I think it needs to be pretty wholesalely changed. Like, uh, I was driving with my friend Andy there down to Providence after the thing, and I was thinking to myself, when you're a high school kid and you like go to your guidance counselor and you say you want to be a doctor, they're like, oh, okay, five years of school, then three more years of school, then two years of this, and you're like, all right, that's what I'm going to do. You don't even think twice. Maybe you, you freak out and decide you're not going to be a doctor anymore, but you accept that's the reality of the education, right? You walk in and you say, I want to be a web designer, and they do this. We get fan mail from high school kids, you know? And what I guarantee you, the guidance counselor is like, you should go to art school. And it, it's a completely a useless education for what we do now. It, it's, it needs to be wholly, completely changed. They should be saying at that moment, well, it's five years, you've got to get into RIT, you've got to do this thing, it's going to be art and computer science and design, it's really hard, then you're going to intern for a while. Like, it needs to be that radically changed. It's not even close anymore. I mean, when I was doing the speech, I thought I had it all down, and the more I was thinking, I was like, no, it's completely wrong, it's completely screwed. I mean, these people aspire to this profession, they're ready to work a long time to learn it, and we don't even try to teach them stuff anymore. Yeah, everything that he said. I mean, seriously, though, from a... Um it's, uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I, I went to school um, at BU up here, and, uh, <laughs> and um, I mean, I, you know, there was no, I don't even know, um, there was, So there was there was um, obviously no flash classes at all. Um, I went to you know com advertising background and the whole thing, um, and like I took a, they had one class in director and I remember what. So I was like, oh lingo, this is sweet. I can move stuff and I was like, this is awesome, you know. And and after that, I just got like the bug and flash. It was like flash three or whatever flash was. Yeah, flash three. Um, and um, so I think from an education point of view, yeah, it's it's kind of scary because. Um, there's, it's a lot of work, you know, it's like we, like I get like all these resumes and portfolios from, from a lot of students that have like, that go to really great schools that I think are 
putting together great programs and great curriculums. And then I kind of see in all the portfolios are very similar in the sense that they're not really what I'm, me personally, my, and like my company, really like looking for in, in their entirety. Like RIT actually, RIT I, I think has a great um, program. Um, I have two students from RIT that I hired from last year. I'm probably gonna hire two more this year at least. Um, two interns coming from RIT. I'm gonna have half my freaking company is gonna be from RIT. Because and they because but they know they know a little Cinema 4D. They know some Flash. They know how to design. They know enough to they know enough that they don't know what they want to do yet. And like when you're that young, you shouldn't know that I'm gonna be like AS3 God. You know, like you want to you want to come in and like you want to dabble a little bit and like then really find out what you're good at and then expand from there. So for designers, it's almost hard. Like my dream designer is like we have art directors that are great. And they're like, oh, dude, I need like something in 3D. I need to go talk to the 3D guy. And then they spend three days with him. Like, dude, why, why can't you just learn 3D? Like, you know, like you're awesome in Photoshop, but it's like, dude, it's just not Photoshop, man. Like, you have to know everything, you know? And it's demanding because I want people to know everything, but it's kind of the way it is, I think, or I hope. Um, I just want to say, go be you.